I have turned more than a few men into cyborgs, but you, well, your past is most, uh... What you getting at, Doc? Most of the time, you're working with First World ex-military, grown men. Compared to the average Third World child soldier, I can't really complain. Most of them, they're the sort of gorillas your typical patient gets paid to slaughter. Uh, perhaps, but, uh... This shouldn't be news to you, Doc. Uh, yes, yes, but, uh... Look. Just help me take care of those brains after I bring them back. I do my business, you do yours. Uh, yes. Oh, shit, here we go. Somewhere, dude, it keeps tickling the front of my nose over and over. Right away, up now, yeah? Almost there. My dad always told me. I just me, finished uh, like, one day you're gonna have terrible data. nose hairs like you me. Should find I was like, an indoor I hope garden not. up ahead. My apologies, Ryden. I seem to have fallen behind. No worries. Actually, I should thank you. What are you talking about? If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have gotten Jack back. Then that is your true nature more or less still interested i find no reason to alter my objectives from the moment we met you have acted on emotional urges you speak of protecting those weaker than you such people number in the billions it is impossible you cannot save every human being in the world you cannot save every street child after extended observation i have come to a conclusion your actions are rooted in affinity for those from similar circumstances as yours. Huh. Guess so. Not much of a superhero after all, huh? Hmm. However, your emotional status is understandable. Perhaps I share this same affinity. Well, if that's what you feel, yep. I'm glad to have you along. Roger. You can reach the server room via the freight elevator just ahead. I'm sorry, I got very, very triggered at the last section, brother. I, I don't want to sneak in this game. Like, I see very little point in having sneaking parts besides just the continuity that it is Metal Gear. You know, it's like, oh, well, Metal Gear has sneaky. I think it'd be funnier if it was just like a small, oh shit, like. I'm not a damn gecko. I'm terrible fighting these. I mean, I mean hit left Shit. 
It's killing me. It feels like I gotta sneeze all the time.
I know it's Metal Gear, man, but like this isn't bad. This, I mean, I'm a fucking sub a ninja throwing around with a sword. I'm getting kicked in the air by a giant mech right now. He's like fucking doing anime combos on me. Like, do these enemies are giving me such a hard fucking time? Oh my god. I gotta kill him. I got no help. This enemy's gotta be one of the worst in the game. Like, gotta be one of the worst. Fucking beating the shit out of me. Please let me get some kills. Did I really have to fight this enemy again? Miss Charles. No. I'd be a body if I had to get lightning controlled by an AI. Ah! 
Nice. God, bro. It only took two tries. I had to beat both bosses in a row. Like that was that was not fun with one with one health pack. Don't disrupt the students while class is in session. I believe we're familiar with the lesson plan. The same regimen you went through in Liberia. Effective program. This room Just looks like look a brain too. The map. Out. It's pretty. Of course, you're running it in the real world. Just got on the map too complicated doing it virtually though no fuss no muss straight to the brain it's like a dream well maybe dream is the wrong word they can kill some POWs some civilians <laughs> they enjoy it though we give their pleasure centers a nice big jolt every time Plus, they get a shot a new body as a graduation present. Another thing you have in common. I chose this. They're kids, you son of a bitch. And kids are cruel. All people are by nature. They just lose touch with it as they get older. Start thinking they know right and wrong. That's immoral. War crime this, code of conduct that. Kids, you can mold, manipulate it to performing all kinds of atrocities. And there's nothing like a good atrocity to keep a war going. That's why I'm shutting you down. 
You just don't see the bigger picture, do you? Say you bring this whole place down. Waltz out of the rubble with all these precious brains. Nothing changes. All the guys in charge are long gone. We've got offices around the world. Jesus Christ. We're just suppliers. We don't create the market for war. And who does? The Patriots are gone. <laughs> Those guys just manage the war economy. They didn't invent it. Did you think every battle in history was all part of some big old conspiracy? Bullshit! War is just part of who we are. Why fight it? Anyway, none of this will matter in three hours. Demand for PMCs is about to skyrocket. Like the good old days after 9-11. What are you talking about? Not here. Follow me. What's the matter where we talk? the merchandise what happens in three hours <laughs> don't matter you're too late even at Mach 2 you wouldn't make it and killing you is gonna take some time slow and painful Oh, 
Okay. 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 What is it? What do you do next? Like just you swing in between? Like what the fuck? What are we doing here? What are we doing here? Side swapping. You can be cooler than that, Jack. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Let's get started from the checkpoint or what? Because this is this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 64%? I don't know about that. annoying than anything mechanical wise like trying to line those cuts up and stuff a lot harder than I thought. Stuff on my screen, I can't see shit. I didn't even hit that. What the fuck? Good damn. I died quite a bit here. did the whole playing it off of his arm thing and then just and a boy Jack what happens in three hours you launch operation to come say who Armstrong I was to come say Yourself shaving, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> He's good, real good. You knew this would happen, didn't you? Well, you get your wish. Up to you now. Riding here. I've taken Marshal HQ. Yes. Uh, I have just entered Denver airspace. I will be there soon. Hurry. Right. What Sundowner said. I know. Anything that'll rival 9-11 cannot be good. No. And in three hours, maybe less. 
He said even Mach 2 could not get there in time. If he was serious, that's over 4,000 miles away. 4,500. So whatever it is, it's not happening on American soil. If it's gonna spike demand for PMCs, it's gotta be a political hotspot. A coup or civil war in a stable region wouldn't have a domino effect. And they'd want to draw in a superpower. No. What? The president. He's on his way to Pakistan. If something happens to him there... Oh, shit. The War on Terror Part 2. Contact the military. Official channels are frozen since Mexico. Unofficial channels would take too long. Besides, what's our proof? Who's gonna believe us over World Martian? Then we have to get there first. Nieves Muzna! Impossible! It is the other side of the planet. Even if we were in the world's fastest jet right now, it's not even close. Hold up. It's not a jet we need. Courtney? An RLV would make it with time to spare. But... Hmm. That's... Mach 23, if we're talking one atmosphere. 17,650 miles per hour. That would make Pakistan in under half an hour. What? <laughs> right. Contact Solus. Were they putting my ass on a rocket? You know, this kind of space launch once required days of preparation. Solus has been conducting test flights almost every day for the last six months. As long as we're not breaking atmosphere, they said they can reroute today's flight no problem. <laughs> Amazing! The Earth is the cradle of humanity. But mankind cannot stay in the cradle forever. <laughs> I'm only going as far as the thermosphere. This thing can't pass the Carmen line. That lunar vacation will just have to wait. And here I was hoping you might bring me back a monolith. Scheiße! Two bogies closing fast! Is it? Who else? The flight pattern suggests unmanned MQ-320s. This is a transport chopper. Our defensive options are limited. Missiles incoming! EMP? Yes, but not strong enough to take out the drone. A nice flight. And people say Germans aren't funny. I mean, okay. Chopper around. You wouldn't have time to do all this.
sorry, my friend. Your sacrifice will not be forgotten. The weird fucking cutscene. I don't know why this is in the game, but... That was quite the fall, Raiden. I'm glad to see that you are alright. It's time you got out of Denver. Raiden, hurry! It may be an RLB, but it still needs time to accelerate and decelerate for first cosmic velocity. It could require more than 30 minutes to get to Pakistan. Raiden, I will join you in Pakistan. I will find a way to exit the helicopter. Proceed out of the city. I will contact you when I am on the ground. You have escaped the pursuit? Seems like it. You have passed the last of the barricades. Save your strength. Find a vehicle. Right. It's like a motorcycle. That should do nicely. Robot ninja on motorcycle. Okay. Take time to get into the ground. <laughs> Dude went from having, oh yeah, we'll get there in a few minutes on a helicopter and we'll fly out to, uh, it's gonna take two hours to drive there and then over half an hour to fly the rocket there. So. 